A company ABC Limited has 3000 outstanding warrants all the year convertible into one share at at the at $30 per share. The year end price of the stock was $60 and the average stock price was $45. The effect of these warrants on the weighted average number of shares in the calculation of diluted EPS is closest to so let us check whether the warrants will be exercised or not. Now the warrants are exercised if the exercise price price is less than average stock price. So in this case my average stock price is $45 and the exercise price is $35. So $35 is less than $45, hence warrants will be exercised. Now the cash proceeds to the company from the exercise of the warrants will be $30 into 3000 warrants. That is equal to ninety thousand dollars and the number of new shares that is issued is equal to three thousand because each warrant is convertible into one share however for the calculation of diluted EPS earning per share we use the treasury stock method we use the treasury method under which this 3000 is what we get from the exercise of the warrants and this 90,000 this amount is utilized to repurchase the stocks at, at its average price and the number of stocks that are repurchased or reacquired through this proceed is subtracted from this issue. So the number of shares that can be purchased using this $90,000 proceed is equal to and it is purchased as at the average price. So it will be equal to 2000 shares. And hence the total number of addition of new shares for the calculation of diluted EPS in the denominator will be 3000 minus 2000 that will be equal to 1000 shares and hence my option B is the correct option. So remember first check whether the average stock price is greater than the exercise price if it is so then calculate the proceeds from the exercise of the warrant to the firm and use the proceed to repurchase the shares as at their average stock price. And the number of shares that is repurchased is subtracted from the number of shares that is converted as a result of the exercise of the warrants. So the net uh, figure which you will get will reflect the addition of new shares for the calculation of diluted EPS.